Have you ever seen the leaves changing color in the fall? Green leaves change to red, orange, my personal favorite, and yellow before they fall off the trees. This is all part of the seasons changing from summer to fall and the trees getting less sunlight throughout the day. Similar to how we eat food, trees use a chemical reaction inside their leaves called photosynthesis to catch sunlight and convert it to their own energy. During this process, the leaves create chlorophyll, which makes a green pigment, or color, and makes the leaves green. When less light is captured and chlorophyll production slows down, the leaves start to change their color. A great experiment that we can do at home to show the changing colors of nature is to dye some flowers. Instead of being caused by a lack of chlorophyll, this instead uses something called transpiration. Flowers evaporate water through very small pores in their petals. They then replenish that water through their stems and root system. But we're going to replace that water with red, yellow, and green food dye, and then that will infuse that color into the flowers. There are a few different flowers that you can use, but you want to find ones with an herbaceous stem, which means it's green and flexible, not woody. You can use tulips, daffodils, or chrysanthemums, but we're going to use carnations today. Beyond the flowers, what we need are a pair of scissors and an adult who can use them, some food coloring, and containers for the water itself. Now, even with a small container, in order for the color to show up, you want to use about 15 to 20 drops of color. So right now I'm going to grab my red, I'm going to add that to the water. All right, so we're using 15 drops in our water just to make sure that the water takes on the color and we can see that show up in our flower later on. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut our flowers. We want them to be able to sit with the flower outside of the water, but we wanna make sure that the stem reaches. So measure that out as you need to. Then, very carefully using your scissors, you're going to cut the stem on an angle. An angled cut means that the flower is going to absorb the most water that it can. So now that we've got our food coloring water and our flowers cut at a nice angle, ready to go, we place them inside and we wait. And you can take notes about your observations. Within a few hours, you should start to see changes, but it can take one to two days to fully saturate the flower. Any time of year, it's a great idea to go for a hike and see the colors of nature for yourself. So get up and get moving. Grab some people and go out to experience some of nature's beauty.